well, like I just said on the radio, when Gaylord Masese and the quarterback challenge is what our crowd's cheering for the most, uh, we've got issues internally. We, we have to play better than that. We don't start moving the ball till we get their backups. So I guess that's a positive. We can compete with Boise's backups. Um, didn't like the body language on the sideline. We got substitution errors. We got penalties. Oh, another 10 penalty day. That's good. Um, we, got on, we, got, we, got, we got selfish penalties, loss of emotion penalties. And um, that's a sign of a bad football team. And we've uh, probably had a month here where we haven't had a lot of positives. And we better, we better figure it out as we head into the last two. Rolo, after every loss so far, you've cited the team's uh, fight, that they kept fighting through the end, that they were, you know, there was resolve there. Did that continue tonight, or did you feel like there may have been an issue on that front? Well, I don't think we were as ready as we should have been to play, and that starts with me. You know, I don't know if we're scared of San Diego State and Boise. Um, God, I mean, most of them I don't think so. Um, are they dying to go out there and play? Some of them. But, you know, some of it comes down to execution and some of it comes down to preparation. And a lot of the preparation part comes, comes on the coaching staff. You know, for some reason we can't start a game like we're playing a football game. It's like we're in warm-ups at practice. Okay, now it's time to go when we're down 14 nothing, And we didn't even go then. So um, I feel bad for the people that, you know, came and watched that. Um, it's, that's not the football team I envisioned. That's not the one I knew a month ago. Now, credit, we played better teams in the conference, but we, I, I still felt we were more competitive than the last two weeks. After the San Jose State game from a, about a month ago, you guys were at 500. You guys were first place in the con, you know, in your division. What has happened since then? Can you, is there something to put the finger? You can put your finger on that what has changed. Other than probably playing the meat of our schedule, um, you know, people have have started trying to take Marcus away from us, so we got to make plays other places. Um, trying to stop our, our run game with another hat every now and then, but. Overall, I don't think the execution offensively has been very good. Um, not that the defense has been stellar, but they've had moments where they're playing well. Uh, offense is just real, real, real sputtery right now. And we got to figure that one out. You have back to back, uh, you've had back to back weeks giving up uh, 50, 50 plus points. How much, I mean, th th that has to be a surprise. I know the defense prides itself on playing gritty. Too. Is that a shock to you to give up back to back weeks of 50 plus? No, well, it's not something I anticipated or look forward to. Um, they're, they're two good football teams. I think at least Boise earned it more than we, we gave San Diego State a couple touchdowns on offense. But um, Boise, you can't take anything away from them. I mean, for almost two decades, they've, they've been a top-shelf football program. And, and they, they beat our... <laughs> I can't swear. They beat us pretty good. Um, but I thought we could play better than that. I know we could play better than that. Nick, is there a way to, is, is there a way to get uh, Davis the ball more? Who? I'm sorry, Harris, Harris. Yeah, we can hand it to him. Yeah, uh, yeah, we get him some more reps and um, uh, he, had a, he, had a, he had a good day. Happy for him. But, uh, you know, cramped up there a little bit when we had a little bit going. And, you know, he's banged up a little bit. But he's been fighting through a bunch. So, proud of him. As a senior who, who you know, kind of took an unselfish approach to this season, um, good to see him have a day like this. Yeah, I was curious who you meant there. Um, 
with two games left to go, what kind of goals or, or challenges have you, you know, presented to the team to at least, you know, to hit their mark to, to finish, you know, with, with the final two games left to go? What, what kind of challenges have you set for them? Well, you got another game in conference on the road to help you um, possibly end the conference season 500. And then you've got senior night at home where for the fans that come and park and tailgate and sit in the stands, I'd like to give them a win you know, for, for all their effort coming out. Um, but, you know, we're, the way we're playing, we can't take anybody lightly. You know, we got to come out and play much better than we did the last month. 